your teeth Turn your man to a better place better You want a cop? I got better weight I'm doing the chainsaw like Leatherface I'm the reason why these niggas hate You may be eating, but this bigger nigga eating off a bigger plate The reason came banging on some other shit Gun to your head, make your mother suck your brother's dick I know bullshit's irrelevant, so don't come with no bullshit You don't know who you fucking with I'm a mad villain, I bring a pedophile to your building You're just a son of mine, your children Then killed him, filled him with lead Everybody put a bullet in the new boy's head What up y'all, you got Big Bacon here from JuggaloForum.tk I'm here tonight with Sutter Kane to do an interview What's poppin' with you? What's good with it? Um, anyhow, we're in Hell's Kitchen, his personal studio here where he lays everything down himself. Uh, exactly how long you been doing this, man? Shit, I've been doing this for like eight years now, kid. I ain't no fucking rookie at it. Been doing it for a minute, you know what I mean? Since I've been like 15 and shit, yo, hands down. Started off DJing, after that producing, then rapping, you know what I'm saying? Then started my own company, Never So Deep Records, slash Suicide Kings. You know what I'm saying? Got my first deal when I was like 19. Alright, well in that aspect, uh, what do you believe probably your biggest influences were to get you into this? Yo, honestly, kid, like, it was a way out, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was a straight up high. Like, I love music since I've been, like, mad young and stuff, yo. And the whole point is, like, I'm, like, so focused into the shit, it was ridiculous. So influence-wise, man, this be, like, my surroundings. Music-wise, I gotta say, like, anything from 1994 to 1998, hands down. Anything past it, I never really fucked with too much. Unless I really was put on to it, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of influences was, like, society and music, yo, and just life in general, yo, you know what I'm saying? It was, like I said, it was a high and stuff, yo, and everybody needs that type of high. You know what I mean? Some niggas snort coke, some niggas listen to music. <laughs> yeah. For real. Um... All right, well, in that aspect, uh, you've been in it for a while, and you've worked with uh, a lot of top-name artists as well as, you know, doing the underground thing as well. Um, you produced uh, platinum albums, yeah, and uh, you're still keeping it real, you know, doing the underground thing. Uh, that? In that yeah. aspect, uh, how am I trying to put this? Uh, what is it like being able to, you know, balance yourself on both sides of the field? See, the whole point is when you balance yourself on both sides of the fields like that, yo, it's like you got a better understanding of both sides of the field. You feel what I'm saying? So the whole point of that aspect is, like, I'm like, I'm Sutter Kane when it comes to my underground shit. I'm DJ Bless when it comes to my commercial shit. And I'm Robert Evans when I'm trying to cut the check. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like I break it up into three people. And that's how I like totally knock it out. That's how I separate everything like completely. So when you get a Sutter Kane track and you get a Sutter Kane song, you're going to get that grimy underground feel. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You get that DJ Bless shit, you're going to get your little Kims and your fucking Keith Murrays and shit like that. Like hands down. And then when it's time for all that shit to come together money-wise, you get your Robert Evans, yo. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Robert Evans makes sure the equipment gets hit. Make sure everything gets done. So that's how I separate everything. Everything has an equal balance to all of it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, you just went into uh, the aspect of DJ Bless and Sutter Kane. Um, even on your website, you have them listed almost as two different artists there. Two different people, yo. Um, two different fucking people, yo. It's not even the same fucking person, yo. Like, hands down, yo. Kane, to me, is the nigga. It's like, if you ever seen the movie Raising Kane, like, Kane was the one who did all the dirty work, you know what I'm saying? And the other dude was the one that just, like, just chilled out, fucked some bitches, and called it a day, you feel what I'm saying? So that's how I look at my shit. It's like, Kane is the nigga who wants to get out. Like, that's that's the aspect of me that was never released, like, completely, because I was always doing everything else, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That was the aspect that I was always kept in and kept in and kept in. So I was like, finally, fuck it. Like, I'm just going to come out with this shit, and boom. You know what I mean? That's like how you got MF Doom and Victor Vaughn. It's like two different fucking people, but it's the same person. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It's the same type of shit, yo. Like, uh, I'll give you a perfect example. If you look at my discography, I didn't did shit for, like, mystical and shit. You feel what I'm saying? I did shit for Fiend. If you listen to that shit, that shit sounds nothing like the shit I do with the Sutter Kane shit. That's what I'm saying. It's like two different fucking personalities, yo. Like, completely. Um, back on the Sutter Kane, um... The name comes from a movie called In the Mouth of Madness. Hands down. Is there any particular reason why you chose that name? The motherfucker had power. The motherfucker fucking wrote a book that transformed everybody's mind state, yo. Like, that's power. That's hands down, like, wow. And if you listen, if you watch that movie, the motherfucker said a line like this. He was like, um, on some shit the dude said, yo, what if people don't read the book? You got the movie. You feel what I'm saying? That's how life is nowadays, yo. Yeah. Society is controlled through television, movies, and music, yo. And I feel with the whole Black Sunday movement, with the whole Suicide Kings movement, the whole Sutter Kane movement, it's a it's a control. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, yo, this is like the real shit right here. This is the shit that people want to say and want to listen to. You know what I mean? It's a whole new sound, a whole new feel. The Black Sunday album probably has some of you know the, the most hardest beats that are out there in the underground right now, and probably uh, some of the most you know. 
graphical lyrics are like as <laughs> for instance i'll take a pedophile to your uh building just to play with your children yeah for real um, where do you, you know tap I mean? in to kind of get that uh you know that sinister urge from it's the fucking truth it's pedophiles out there right and nine times out of ten they live in your fucking building because if they're on parole or some shit like that yo you know what i'm saying they can't go to no million dollar mansion crib or they might who knows <laughs> So the whole point is they Jackson still live did. exactly. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson's a fucking pedophile, yo. He's a millionaire. He's a billionaire almost. But the whole point to that whole aspect of like that shit is the truth. I look at everyday society, yo. Motherfuckers is getting molested, killed, raped, murder. Why not talk about it, yo? It's the fucking truth. You know what I mean? The motherfucker might live next door to you. And shit, yo, it's the fucking truth, man. Like hands down. You know what I mean? Y'all should watch Dateline, yo, for real. And shit, how to catch a pedophile. And uh it's crazy. <laughs> Would you consider uh, Sutter Kane into the horror class, uh, the horrorcore class of music? I consider Sutter Kane, you know, like, see, like, when you deal with the word, like, horrorcore to me, it's like, it's, it's horror, like, hands down, blood, murder, guts, gore, all that shit, hands down. And I totally agree with all that. That's banging. But what the whole Sutter Kane thing is, is just straight, like, it's like a whole different mind state. What I say is, like, it's more hardcore than anything and stuff, yo, but it's like, whatever's whatever, yo, hands down. Like, to me, Hardcore is banging, like it's the fucking illest shit I've ever fucking heard. The shit is off the hook, yo. But it's like they got their own style that can't be copied. You feel what I'm saying? To yeah. me, it's like you gotta be breaded into that shit, man. You can't just jump into that shit, like hands down. So that's why I say my style, I don't believe is breaded into that. I think it's more like its own thing, like hand as a straight hardcore shit, man. It's like I put it this way, yo. Instead of an evil spirit coming to get you, I just go do it myself. I ain't got time to wait. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I go kill you myself. Fuck the bullshit. Yo, for real, catch you at night, you know what I'm saying? Put the mask on, you'll kidnap your fucking ass. Uh, is there any plans for maybe, um, like I said, like we were talking about Black Sunday, you had Donnie Darko on there with you. Yeah. But um, is there any plans for, you know, a full length Southern Kane album with that dark grime? Yeah, to it? the making of Southern Kane, it's in effect right now, yo. And shit, for real, so it's in effect right now. I'm like, I'm getting all my records up right now, I'm getting in that mind state where I'm like, okay, cool. I got like five other projects I'm working on, but that is like one of my main fucking projects to making the Southern Kane album, you know, like hands down, because the world embraced that shit, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's on the one right now. Any uh, body in the genre that you're maybe wanting to work with or maybe hook up with a collab for, or maybe put on an album? ICP. ICP. Hands down, yo. Come on, man, you can't get like, yo, you get them niggas on the track, it's a rap. You might as well co-sign it. Yo, it's a rap. Like, hands fucking down, yo. You got ICP on the track. It's a done fucking deal, yo. I'm gonna tell you, it'll be a, a ICP and Twisted straight up and down. I'm gonna tell you, you get... Yo, this will be an ill track, yo. Hands down, yo. And this is gonna happen one day. I'm telling you straight up. I'm gonna make this shit happen. You get ICP, Twisted, Tech 9 on one track with Sutter Kane. I do the beat and rap on it with them. It's a fucking done deal, kid. The nigga's gonna be like, yo, this dude's a beast. But, you know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's over with. Um... On the topic of psychopathic records, uh, you and I were talking earlier before we started conducting the interview. Uh, you said Black Sunday just really took off in the Juggalo community. They opened their arms up, you know, they, they were like, yeah, man, you're family, you're down with us. Yeah, hands down. Um, what are your views on, like, the whole Juggalo scene and you know, psychopathic records in the general? I think it's banging. It's a fucking family, dog. They take you in. It's like, for real. This shit ain't no bullshit, yo. Like, they don't just take anybody in. You yeah. know what I mean? You can't be no bum nigga talking about I'm a Juggalo. Shit don't work like that. Um... The, the name of your label is Never So Deep Records. Uh, where did you get the the concept for the name Never So Deep? It's like you never think you get so deep into the game, you know what I'm saying? It's like this shit is real, yo. This shit ain't no fucking walk in the park. And so this shit ain't no shit you just think overnight. This ain't no fucking mom and pop record company, you know what I'm saying? So you never think you get so deep with a lot of shit. You never think you get so deep with whooping niggas' asses. You never think you get so deep with fucking spending money. You never think you get so deep with putting records out. It's a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? It's like you never think you get so deep in a lot of shit. And so, so that's why I say we're never so deep. You gotta be ready for this shit, yo. Like I said, this ain't no mom and pop shit. This ain't no overnight shit. We grinded this shit out, yo. Hands down. We sold tons of fucking records independently with no major distribution, no nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Like straight up and down. I was on some next shit, yo. Hands down. Like Black Sunday bought me this motherfucker. You know what I mean? You know, some real shit. You got a movie coming out called Kane Made Me Do. Which is gonna be banging. Sony Pictures just picked it up. Gonna be straight to DVD. You know what I mean? We should be filming in the next couple of months. Writing the, rewriting the script right now, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get some top writers to write it. It's gonna be banging, yo. When you're not in the studio producing beats, laying down tracks, uh, working with other people, uh, what do you do with your spare time? Fuck bitches. Like, literally. <laughs> Fuck bitches. <laughs> yo, my life consists of beats, bitches, beats, and bitches, yo. My inspiration for beats? Bitches. My inspirations for beats? Murder. My inspiration for beats? Life. Okay? All those three right there, yo, is just, that's it, man. For real.
that just make the world go round. Out of all the people you've worked with in the, the course over your years, who do you think has probably been the easiest person that you've ever worked with? Donnie Darko, y'all. Hand out of little Kim, out of everybody I fucking work with, Donnie Darko, because he fucking listens. And stuff. Darko knows when Darko comes in, it's like boom, boom, boom. We got the beat ready to roll. He hears the beat. He's like, yo, okay, let's think of a concept, you know what I'm saying? Or wherever we feel the beat, we rock it from there. Donnie Darko, hands down, is one of the greatest people I've ever worked with. And I think out there right now, hands down. I'm not even saying that he's my artist, I'm just saying in general. Like, I listen to his shit like I just bought it in the store. Like, I'm dead fucking serious, yo, like, hands down. Are there any shows or maybe small headline tours set up this year? Yeah, we're going on a 20 city tour with E40 with uh, Hugh Hef and everything. That's another one of my artists, you know what I'm saying? He's going on tour right now with Hugh Hef is going to be banging. So it's a 20 city tour. It starts in like the middle of July, ends in like I think September or something like that. It's going to be real bang. I get all the dates to y'all, put them on my MySpace page, myspace.com backslash Suicide Kings, Kings with a Z. Check that out, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be crazy. And, uh, we need to get you there, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Backstage, you know. Yeah, I'm down. We'll do another one. interview. <laughs> Shit, for real. <laughs> um, for real. And to wrap it up, uh, what do we expect from the Never So Deep Camp for the remainder of the year? Hot music, yo. Hot music, quality music, quality sights, quality everything, yo. We on a whole nother level. You gotta understand, yo. Ain't that many independents out there no more, yo. Hands down. The motherfuckers couldn't take the wrath, yo. When the smoke cleared, a lot of motherfuckers died. You know what I mean? And I feel Never So Deep Records is the number one independent company out right now, yo. Hands fucking down. Cause we just control so much shit and we control our own region. You feel what I'm saying? Like we got our own fan base, our own region, our own family, everything, our own staff. We don't rely on nobody, you know what I'm saying? We don't wait for record companies, we don't wait for none of that shit, yo. We make money from the record companies, the majors, to fund back to our shit. You feel what I'm saying? Then we make money from sales to fund back to our shit. So we good, we independent in all that shit. We don't give a fuck about nobody at all. You know what I'm saying? That's why we can say what we want, do what we want. And motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, you can't do nothing about it because we control our shit. When you control your shit, you're powerful. You feel what I'm saying? It's a wrap. What equipment are you using to record and produce your, you know, your tracks and your beats? Word, you know what I'm saying? Started off, brothers, you know what I mean? Just cop this like two days ago. It's called the NPC 1000, as you can see. It's a nice blue machine here. Shit is banging. Um, I just got this shit two days ago. No bullshit. I, this shit just came in the fucking mail. Y'all just got this shit. Before then, I was using my uh, 2000 over there, which we will get to later on. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I use yo all the beats is done on the fucking MP, yo MP and records, yo hands down. Then that's just like getting the production together. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to like mixing this shit, that's like a whole nother fucking world. You know what I'm saying? Here, look right here. You got like all my outboy gear. You know what I'm saying? You got like my ISA 110s. Orams, I had these shit specially made just for me, you know what I mean, by John Oram himself, I appreciate that brother, you know what I mean, limited edition, and she was like, shit, you know, hardly none made these shit, so they fucking made just for me, I'm using my um, DBX 160s for my drums, I guess it that knock, you know what I'm saying, that grunginess, fucking got the CL1Bs right here, my Universal Audios, use a lot of these shits for the vocals, hands down, this is all my vocal section here, got my fucking Teletronics, I got my Amec Big Board right here. I bought this from Devante, uh, formerly a Jodeci. You know what I'm saying? He sold me this board right here. This shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, yo, I'm glad he sold me this board. Ever, ever since I had this shit, yo. It's that, it's that grunge sound, yo. It's where that grunge comes from, yo. Hands down. You know what I'm saying? Got my Tannoys. Shit is ridiculous, yo. I got crazy equipment. U47 mic. Shit is crazy, yo, for real. But like I said, it all boils down to this right here. You know what I mean? I just caught me the 1,000, so Kai, you need to sponsor me on this shit, yo. Like, hands fucking down. And shit, before then, I'll show you I would have had it. This is what I did the whole Black Sunday album on. The fucking MPC 2000. Like, hands fucking down. I did all the albums you heard me do, from my platinum joints to the regular underground joints, all in this shit right here, yo. 2000, yo. Look at that. See, even the disc fucking drops out and shit. Shit is crazy. So, now the beat section. I'ma totally break it down for you. Long as it thumps in the fucking club or it thumps in the party or it thumps in your fucking car and I get some bitches and get some head afterwards, I give two fucks. My shit gotta be like on some boom. When I do a show and the whole crowd is on some like next shit, that's what I wanna see. Just bought this shit so you gotta understand I'm still learning shit a little bit. Fucking um regular sound, right? Straight loop, you know what I'm saying? After that, chop the shit up. You know what I'm saying? 
chop the whole shit up. What you do is, at the end of the day, you get a Sutter King beat. Comes out shit like this. Take fucking lessons, So that's where I get all my shit from, yo. Hands down. Well, appreciate you taking the time, looking up the website with a pretty bomb ass interview. I've enjoyed it. No doubt, man. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you coming through, man. That's what's up. We up in Hell's Kitchen right now, you know what I'm saying? Keeping it real. Fucking hoes doing shows and making juggalette porn videos. He <laughs> said, yeah. You yeah, got camera for it. I'm trying to tell you, you got the GL2 back there for real. You don't, see, crazy. you don't see the shit going on behind the camera. Nah, not at all, brother. But make sure you look out for a lot of shit coming out, yo. We got the Donnie Darko album dropping, The Devil's Bastard. We got fucking, um, what else we got dropping? Hugh Hef album dropping, The Carolina Spokesman. Um, my shit's dropping, Sutter Kane and making a Sutter Kane album. If you like the song Cannibal Ferrix, you'll love the album because the whole album's based on shit like that, yo. I come up with concepts, yo. Shit is crazy. We got the instrumental album dropping. Beats inspired by a bitch. Shit is crazy. I should tell you right there what the fuck the beats inspired by. Check out NeverSoDeepRecords.com, uh, MySpace.com, backslash Suicide Kings, Kings with a Z. You'll be seeing this shit. It's crazy, yo, for real. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous with it. Set of Kane, DJ Blush, you know what I'm saying? Big Bacon. Keeping it real, yo, for real. Shit is crazy.